Okay, uh, as a preliminary matter, uh, this is Bob Marshall, uh, Chairman of the Lakeville Cable Advisory Committee, and permit me to confirm that all members, staff, and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Uh, Tom Serignano. Here. Walter Healy. Here. Uh, Fred Beals is, is not here. Um, we have um, Executive Director from Lake Cam, who will be here with us for a short uh, time. Jose. Here. Um, let's see. Anticipated speakers. The only anticipated speaker is going to be an executive uh, session uh, when we go to that. Uh, the open meeting law, um, excuse me, this open meeting of the Cable Advisory Committee is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth due to the outbreak of COVID-19. In order to mitigate the transmission of the COVID-19 virus, we've been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public meetings and as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a, public, a publicly accessible uh, physical location. Further, all members of the public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. Okay, um, so we, we are, our meeting is open. And the first item on our agenda is to approve the uh, previous meetings minutes. And we have three um, that we need to address. The first one is December 1st, which was very brief. Uh, so moved. Action. All right, we have a motion to accept. Is there a second? second. Discussion? All second. those in favor? Aye. 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 Right. Walter, okay, very good. Mr. Chairman, you have to do a roll call vote. Sorry. Oh, um, not on, not on. Minutes. No, not on minutes. We don't. Yeah, not in an open meeting. All of all of the meetings that are virtual have, according to the gov governor's order, have to have roll call votes. Okay. Well, Sorry. you know that's why I come to school uh, to learn something. <laughs> all right, uh, Tom. How do you vote? <laughs> yes. Uh, Walter, you? Yes. Bob, what do you say? Oh, okay. I say aye. <laughs> Next item. Uh, December fifteenth, twenty twenty. Is there a motion to accept? So moved. Second? Second. Uh, further discussion? Okay, we have a motion and a second. Uh, we'll roll call. I say aye, Tom. Aye. Walter? Aye. Okay, and that one's approved. And the next item is uh, January 13th. Uh, so moved. So moved. Is there a second? Second. Uh, discussion? Okay, uh, all in favor, oh, excuse me. Tom? Aye. Walter? Aye. Bob? Aye. And we are done with that, those three items. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Okay, next item we've got is, uh, I don't have a date yet, guys, but I've uh, notified uh, Tracy uh, McGee uh, that we'd like to meet with the Board of Selectmen sometime the end of this month. And as you know from, from our email, I suggested perhaps sometimes, uh, sometime during the week of uh, the 22nd, um, we have to have this meeting by, I think it's March 28th, uh, in order to meet the six month requirement after Horizon's notice that they want to begin negotiations it was last September. Um, now, Jose, uh, just briefly, why don't you give us a rundown? How many, uh, roughly, how many um, responses have we gotten? We've gotten uh, somewhere over over 400 responses thus far. Great. Okay, that's that's a tremendous response. And, of course, uh, we know that uh, some of those are not uh, Verizon uh, customers, but many of them are. And from what I've seen, there really are, are no surprises at all uh, in their responses. Um, you know, they're taught, although they, they, some people do seem to think that we have a lot more control over this whole cable process uh, than we do. And one thing while we're uh, on the public record, 
I'd like to uh, express to folks, uh, assuming you're watching, uh, is we as a committee and the town have no control over the internet, cable only. So I know that that seems uh, perhaps TV odd only. to some. Say cable, again? Cable TV only. Cable TV only. Yes, thank you. Uh, I often leave off that TV, don't I? Um, so we don't have any control over the internet, although sometimes in the past when there have been internet problems, I have been able to give uh, Verizon a call and, and let them know that there was a larger problem than just maybe what they've been hearing uh, about. Some people, when they have a problem, do not call uh, their Verizon customer service people to let them know uh, which is what they should be doing. So in any event, we had decided at a previous meeting that January, excuse me, February 15th uh, would probably be uh, a good cutoff date. So that's coming up in another, uh, what, almost a couple of weeks for the um, ascertainment survey. And then when we get a date to meet with the Board of Selectmen, um, I, I'll let you guys know, and hopefully it will be something that will uh, um, fit with your schedules. And we'll have, I don't know, 15, 20 minute discussion, whatever it turns out to be with the Board of Selectmen. They will have the uh, assessment of the ascertainment survey results. We will have them. We'll have had a chance to look them over, although it really is quite voluminous when you start going through it, but we'll do the best we can. And of course, we will share that information with Verizon, and it will be a good stepping stone to discussions uh, that will take place for the Verizon contract, which I think we have to have completed by May of uh, 2023. So that's uh, basically what we've got uh, coming up. Anyone have any questions on the ascertainment uh, meeting? The last, the last time we had that, we had it at the senior center. I think that right. thing. Right. There were, <clears throat> there were a few members of the public that did attend, I believe, and made a few comments. Right. Our, the, the selectman would handle any invites to the public at that meeting. I imagine. I, I would think so. Uh, Jose, do you know how that's normally handled when they've got people from the public? Yeah, they usually. Um... Hmm. This is actually a hearing. Right. So hearings are handled a little differently virtually. We've what we've been doing with hearings uh, recently <clears throat> is putting out the the Zoom invitation publicly for people to join and, and ask questions there. Uh, as an alternative, people have been allowed to ask questions on Facebook of the selectmen. And Lake Ham has been relaying those questions to them. Okay. Uh, they don't uh, you don't necessarily need to answer every question, but um, we do make them all available to the chairperson, whether they want to address that question or comment. Okay, so it's the chairman of the of the board of selectmen that would make that decision. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Well, that that's helpful uh, from my point of view, anyway. Uh, um, you may want to ask if you may want to ask uh, Tracy or the board of selectmen if they need to um, place that hearing notice in the um, in the Gazette. And if so, they probably have to do at least a week or two ahead. Um, so we're kind of running out of time if it's the yeah. 22nd. I'm writing myself a note. Okay, I'll, I'll make contact with Tracy and, and ask her about that. Um, okay, well, we're uh, a little bit ahead of time. Anybody else have any, any questions? Uh, I'll, I'll mention, Tom, did you have something? No, no. Okay, I'll, I'll mention something to the public here uh, about where we're uh, going in, in just a, a few minutes. We've been bargaining with um, 
uh, with Comcast for quite a while now, well over a year. And um, uh, that's where we're going in, in just a few moments. We'll go into executive session uh, to bargain with them, uh, not to reconvene an open session, but we don't have a motion yet. Um, and we, we have made some progress. Uh, the information that you gave us way back in September of uh, 2019 was very helpful. That's why the new survey for the Verizon people will be equally helpful. Uh, and we encourage any and all of you to make, um, uh, make any opinions you have known uh, to us you can contact uh, me on Facebook if you want to. It's just Bob Marshall. Uh, and you can give me some uh, whatever input you want. Uh, and that should be helpful. If you've got any burning questions, you can uh, write Tracy McGee at the um, uh, Board of Selectmen's office and she'll, she'll get the question to me and so forth. Uh, so that's what we've got on the agenda. Uh, I don't anticipate, I could be wrong, but I don't anticipate that we will be bargaining immediately with Verizon because personally, uh, and I think Walter and Tom will, will agree and Jose as well, that the bargaining with Comcast has taken a lot of time. Um, and we would like, I would like to finish with Comcast first since we've got so much time, uh, more than two years, uh, to finish up with Verizon. So that's that's our plan because the existing license with Verizon would stay in, in effect um, even if we finished uh, early. So um, that's the plan. If you've got any questions, you can try to contact uh, us. Again, me, Facebook, if you want, uh, just Bob Marshall and uh, to Tracy McGee. Uh, Mr. Okay. Chairman, we have no questions on Facebook. Okay. Or, or comments. That's, that's good to know. Well, maybe I should have uh, asked Mike uh, from Comcast to uh, show up a little sooner, but I had no way of knowing how long our minute approval and discussion of ascertainment might be. So I guess we'll just hang out. Well, can no harm we done. go ahead and uh, enter executive session? We don't oh, that's, yes, that's, that's, that's right. That. Um, yeah, we probably should do that. Then we, can, uh, then we can start discussing amongst ourselves here. Is there a motion uh, to move into executive session to discuss bargaining positions on the upcoming Comcast license renewal, not to reconvene an open session based on item three of the exclusions to the open meeting law? Is there a motion? I'll make that motion and also add that we will not be re-entering open session. Yes, I, that was in the motion that I read, oh, Tom. I'm sorry. That, that's okay. Here, Do we have second. a second? Okay. Yep. Now this I know, Jose, we definitely do need to have a roll call vote. Yep. Um, Tom? Aye. Walter? Aye. And Bob? Aye. 